Hello. Curry Cool is back again. Hello, yes, and I'm here with Curry Cool today on his talk show. How about that, everybody? Yes, so today my top show is I am back again talking about the gravity of a grandmother who pretty much just totally just destroys the relationship between a father and his kid. So I got Josie here with me, and we will be talking about this. Yes. So, yes, yes, tell me yes. your feelings about this, Josie. Well, first of all, it's a very horrible situation, and especially when you have a person who is done blood. Uh, the woman that is doing all this is an adopted grandmother at that. I mean, so she can't feel the pain that it would cause between a father who's the blood yeah. of his daughter. And that's, you know, I just can't understand how someone could do that to a child because it's not only you that she's doing it to, but what about the child who grew up without a loving father in her life? See, that's the part that gets me. I mean, I haven't grabbed my senses around that, never can, never will, because it's not right. Uh, and to me, in fact, I feel that it's child abuse, Curtis, and this is why most people are telling you to go ahead and sue that lady. Uh, your daughter have to know one thing. First of all, the reason that lady does not care about your well, daughter. Well, this adopted grandmother, Patricia Ann Robinson, out in Moreno Valley, California. This woman has been abusing the system for right. over 17 years right. now. Right, right, and right. I've been talking about this stuff for a very long time, Josie. Yes. And this woman, Patricia, do not honor court orders. Right. I mean, she make fake false claims to the right. DA. She wow. fought at my baby's birth certificate inside of the hospital. Terrible. Placed, placed the birth certificate under a flower pot, hid it all together. Wow. And messed up the baby's mother mind. Right. Until the baby mother do not have any kind of contact with, with the, the baby's father. Yeah. Which is horrible because the child now is how old? 17 years 17 old. 17 years old. Now, now, Curtis, my thing is that it's time for your daughter to step up to the plate. Uh, first of all, your daughter must know that you are her blood, not her mother nor her adopted mother. But she and you are tied to blood. So, therefore... The mother nor the adopted grandmother can feel anything because there are no blood kin. But it's your daughter who has to step up to the plate and stop this madness and let them know that is my blood, not yours. That is my father, not yours. God gave me that father. He didn't give it to you. Even though you're my mother, but I still have a blood father who created me, who planted the seed, who helped bring me into the world when you were sick. And mom... And adopted grandmother, that is not right, and I'm going to put an end to it because now I am a young adult, and I can put a stop to this madness right now. Curtis, how could they let you take that this far? And I've been around. I want the world to know that this is not a joke. It's not a gimmick. I have been around from when I first met you years and years ago when you had came back from California and this story has still been going on. I remember when you reached out to them, you called them, you begged them, you emailed them for your daughter. No contact. But I saw some emails where that mother was, hi, and all of this little kitty stuff to you. Well, in the very beginning. Yeah, what was that well, all the baby, about? The baby mother, she was really trying to uh, let me know what was going on with my, with my newborn baby, that right. sort of thing. But right. this Patricia Robinson was working on her mind. Oh, that's so she what kept on manipulating her until she totally took control over the baby's mother mind. Now wow. my thing is, what is it going to take world for this type of adopted grandmother who totally misused and abused the system, running hide out, play on all these people mind, y'all? And play the victim role, and all she want is money, money and benefits. Yes. So this is where I step in at and saying your daughter 
has to put a stop to this madness because it is you are her blood not them she needs to put that lady in her place and let her know that is my dad you've done this long enough you've done it to my mother you get her check you control her you get my check you're controlling me and you're trying to control my dad which is why i think the lady kept your daughter away because she couldn't control you i remember seeing when you you said about that that baby stroller you was putting your child's baby stroller up i remember that i remember that so when you put that child's baby stroller up she was trying to stop you from putting up your own child's baby i mean my god and the picture you was holding your little baby the world could see that she had her arms under your arms trying to take the baby as if it was her child I mean, who is this lady? She is no blood kin to you. She's no blood kin to the baby mother. She's no blood kin to the baby. And if your daughter is watching this, I want you to know, young lady, this is your blood, not that lady who adopted your mother and trying to adopt you. She's no blood kin. She has no right to destroy your life from not having a father like all the other kids grew up with their fathers. Well, she let me, has let, no right for that. Let, no let, right. Let, let me let me say something. Uh, well, actually, when these type of people, such as Patricia Robinson, no. she take full control over these people's mind, mm. which is my sure. daughter's mind and the baby's mother mind. Right. She totally want total control now. No matter what it takes to keep these people under her spell, because you guys got to remember that Patricia Robinson is not well in her mind. I'm just going to be very honest about it, open about it. Anytime you have to totally just destroy a person's mind just to take over a father's kid and not let him have any type of contact because you got some type of mentally ill problem such as Patricia Robinson, I mean, I'm telling you, no. hey, you guys, that woman has got to come back to the light, but she will never come back to the light. Simple fact, but she's been doing this for so long. She feels like that my daughter is going to run away from that home, y'all, and that baby mother is going to get lost as well. And then where would the money go? See, the thing of it is, I think that she is in her right mind, and she knows what she's doing. She's doing it for money. Normally, when people do stuff like that, they know what the hell they're doing. They're doing it for the money. They want the checks to come in the house because, see, if you would have taken your daughter from her, then she wouldn't have no child support check. She would have no more control. She hid the birth certificate under the flower pot, okay? And you had to fight for that. Everything with the baby stroller, you had to fight for that. You had to pay to see your daughter. And I think the last time you saw her, she was seven months reaching out for her dad. So this lady wanted full control because she knew you was in your right mind, even though her mother may not have been. And you could have easily and still can if you wanted to. You didn't want to take control of the baby away from the mother. All you wanted to do is have your rights like the judge gave you to your daughter. And she, she took away all of those rights from a child from birth that could have had the input of a father like I did. Every girl needs a father and every man needs a father, especially so a, if they're a loving father like you. I want to say this, world. I mean, I know it's a whole lot of people out here who have gone through this type of, of situation. Right. I mean, how would you feel? I mean, it's so many people out here, y'all, who is using and abusing the system, y'all, right, for their right, own right, personal right, gain. Right, right, but right. what is the purpose? What are you really truly getting out of this in the end? I mean, you're getting your money. You got the kids. I mean, but in the end, in the, the kids end. are the ones who is yeah. messed up. Right. Because see, 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 this, 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 what they call it, this parental alienation, alienation y'all, uh -huh. that is nothing but abuse. That's the devil. So if Patricia Robinson do not want to accept this, that is abuse when that you just totally parental alienate a, a kid child. away from her own father and then you are receiving child support and all the benefits that's the and devil. she would not let me know the welfare of my own daughter y'all now how sick minded can that well Patricia she didn't Robinson want you be, to know because she wanted the check if you would have known where they were you could go there get your daughter she's still only 17 you still have a year you you can do it but at this point, 
You shouldn't have to fight for your own blood daughter. And your daughter shouldn't let you have to fight for her. Your daughter is old enough now. Stand up, young lady. Stand up. This is your blood, not them. Analyze it. Talk to someone. Talk to a principal. Talk to a teacher. Talk to a mature friend. They will let you know like I'm letting you know. This is your blood. They're not his blood, but you are. And you are the only one now check this that out. can stop this madness right now. Check, check this out. Call your daddy. Check this out now. That's all you have to now, do. Now, now, I go on to Dallas. Alexa have a, a older brother. Yeah, your son. I mean, everybody looks alike over here. They ask about Alexa. Right. When is Alexa going going to be able to contact her father and her people? And her people. End. Here I am, y'all. I get stuck trying to explain this situation. Yes. About these crazy people. I mean, yes. especially Patricia Robinson. Yes. I mean, I I I I have a great grand. Daughter, I'm a great yes. grandpa, oh, and she looks just like you. And I she looks just like her. Well, all great of them look pop. like you. I mean, even your my son. blood just take Alexa. over, baby. My blood your takes picture, over. Your daughter's pictures look like you, also. I mean, my blood takes over. I mean, she has your my eyes, sons, your hands, check everything. This, check this out. My son's grandbaby looks just like him, but when I come into the picture. She, she looks like, like you. I she saw is that. my baby. <laughs> I saw Y'all check this out, y'all. <laughs> now she's funny. two years old. <laughs> oh, she was I so went cute. And I visit my son in Dallas and uh, um, my granddaughter and my great grandbaby was there, yeah. Which I mean, is a, for, the very, for, the, for the very first time, y'all. And I just walked into the house and stood back. <laughs> she's two years old. And I, yeah, I, I just, I just stood this, and I just did this, and she come running to me like, like she was just drawn a magnet, like yeah. she was just drawn to <laughs> the blood like of you. her great grandpa. She just ran, just, and she looked like, and you. she just broke out a big old smile, looking like, whoa. And even your grandson looked like you she, too. She, she was looking like, whoa. I look just like, like him. him. Whoa. <laughs> and she had the smile and everything, y'all. And I look at him. Oh, it was so cute. I saw that video. I just, I mean, world, I saw that video and I saw his grandson who looks like him. I saw his great granddaughter who looks like him. I saw your daughter's picture who looks like you. Now, that adopted woman, Caucasian woman, I'm not racist, but she's Caucasian. They're African American. That, that Caucasian woman, has taken Alexa's rights from her other blood people. See, not only did she hurt Alexa, your daughter, she hurt you, your your mother who passed who wanted to see her, all of her uncles and aunts on her authentic blood side. Check this out. Not fake, but and, and real check, check, blood side. Check this out now, y'all. On my, on Alexa's grandmother dying bed, she was like, can I please... Say hi or hello to my grandbaby. That is How so is sad. my grandbaby doing? That lady they has a They won't let to pay you for. talk to your own blood daughter. Blood daughter and won't let me say hi and I'm on my dying bed. And she never saw her grandmother. And my mother of that. said, Wow. They will they, they will pay one day for doing this to, to you and to your daughter. Her grandmother. Yeah. See, they don't own, I want these people to know, whoever these child alienation people are, you don't own that child. God owns her. And when God created her through her mother and her father, that's who she belongs to. And especially if they're loving parents. I could see if you were some crackhead, but as I said on one of your shows before, I know crackhead people, they even let their people know at least who they are. I mean, when you go to school, kids, fathers are picking them up. Where's your daddy? Well, I hope she say, well, they're keeping me away from him so that CPS can step in. Because it's not over yet. It's not over yet. When you think you've gotten away, you haven't because you have, you took it away from her side over here. She has a whole nother life that she could be getting monies from, gifts from, traveling from, love from. That was a whole side of her life on her daddy's side that that woman who adopted her mother and brainwashed her to stay away from all of that. So really, they're cheating her check because she's only getting one side of it. Check, not check, all of it. check, That's check bad. this out. Check this out. Horrible. If I was my daughter, I would be proud to know I got a good, loving father. Yes. Throughout all these years, y'all. Right. I wouldn't let nobody try to tear me down right. and break me down right. and take that away from from me. 
I don't care what that but crazy old exactly. Patricia Robinson does, what that out of pocket uh, uh, baby mother think y'all. I would love Not a loving my father. father through no matter what y'all. I know I'm right out here y'all. Right. And for for these people to do this to my daughter y'all. Right. And not even let her have That's no bad. type of contact. That's very bad. You know what I mean? Even That's crack crazy, y'all. Even crackheads and, and robbers and, and people take their kids to prison to see their dad. And here it is a loving father, upright standing father. Many men wouldn't even fight for their children. But here he is fighting for you, Alexa. And you're old enough to put a stop to all of this madness. You have to be the only one that can break that ice. And I mean, you need to break it. Because take it well, from a girl. I was check, a girl once. Check, check this. And I know check this, what it's like check having this, a Check this, check this. But when you got these type of uh, narcissists, I'm talking Brain talking washers. about Patricia Robinson. Right. I mean, they, they, these grandmothers like this, y'all, with all this crazy stuff, with this, with this crazy mindset, y'all. Right. And, and, and they just want total control, y'all. And they would do money. anything for, for total money. control. You would not. Communicate. You will not no contact. You you will not make no phone call. You right. will not text. You, you will not email. Well, she has to anything that. you do. Right. I will start taking away all kind of different things away well, from that's you. Okay. And let I them, will whatever it takes. If see, they take see, it, let them take it see, away. See, see, she see, got more over here. See this if crazy. They take that away. You got so much more on your daddy's but, but side. This, you don't this, need this. that. Check this. Check negativity. this. Check this. But Patricia Robinson is so lost into all whole that craziness, y'all, because of what happened to her in her past, y'all. And this woman has got to put a stop to that past, whatever happened to her, that curse that was on Patricia Robinson. She's got to pull herself together and go get some counseling, y'all. Well, I think it's... And, and come on back to the real... Hey, look, you brought on your past animosity with all of the crazy things that happened to her. She brought it over to my daughter, and now she's trying to use all of this stuff to manipulate and control just to keep everything into that umbrella because it's all about her. It's I all, want all the money. I want all this. I yeah, want this. I, I, I want that. I think it's more about the money than the people. It's all about the money. She don't give a damn about your baby mother. She don't give a damn about your baby. She don't give a damn about nobody that's giving her the money. She definitely don't give a damn about you. It's all about the money. She know what she did. She know what she's doing. And she know in the end, God will make her pay. It's no way on this heaven and earth. I've seen it. I've and no, seen, and no matter what it. nobody says, I hear you. I've seen Parental it. Parental alienation is nothing but abuse. And evilness. That's and the devil. And evil. That yeah, is that from is the hell. devil, yo. That is from the pit when of When you hell. got a crazy adopted grandma, yo, who totally abused people. Just to keep them away from their own father. Right. And then they are collecting all this money, y'all. Right. Collecting I, all the benefits through, they through the government system. Yes. Collecting everything she yes. got. She, yes. She's got her hands into everything, Every y'all. And want want it all. Oh, I don't even want him but to know no contact. I don't even want him to communicate. Right. I know he got a court order. Right. But the hell with it. I would run and hide out all over California and abuse the system. You know, she's been so messed up in her mind for so long, y'all, until she can't break that habit. Right. But I know people... Patricia, when are you going to break that habit? She's not. Your daughter has to do it. Uh, I know many people that don't even get child support, and they still let that kid have that bond with their blood father. Because every girl and boy needs their father. When they grow up, when they start dating, they need a man to stand up to another man and say, hey, look. Like my dad did me. That's my daughter. And I don't want nothing to happen to her. If it do, I'm coming for you. You need that as a child in your life. I mean, the reason God made it that way. When you planted that seed to her mother, she would not have existed if that seed didn't fertilize. But it takes a seed to grow a child, a plant, or anything. So that is the root. And this is why Curtis is fighting for his daughter's rights so that his daughter can know exactly what's going on, how it all happened from the beginning. Because many times people can tell you what they want to tell you. But when you can show the proof in the pudding, it's no lies, it's no gimmick, it's no game, it's real. And a real father with love that's coming to his daughter and letting her know that I was there from the very beginning. Matter of fact, didn't you save your daughter's life? Well, Where the know, mother was sick or something, well, and you the know, baby, she's going to lose none, none, the baby? None of, none, of, none of this is 
not my daughter's fault. No, it's not. See, it's not. See, she, she, she see, didn't know any these better. people thinking that that I'm out here uh, going to say something daughter. crazy to no, try to hurt never, my daughter. I would never do that. Would never y'all. do that. That's that's out. My main that's objective out. is exposing Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson and educating the world so that the world can see what these type of people are out here doing. How they took away so they, when, 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 when these kind of people feel like they have total control such as this baby mother and this crazy old adopted grandmother yeah, they work together, together to manipulate and control to keep my daughter totally away from her own blood as father. As if she don't because have a father. Their father dogged them out. Their mothers kept them away from their fathers. But I think it's more fathers. about the money than all that. See, see, and they pass on the same thing. And they are so jealous, y'all, just to see a father is fighting for well, a daughter. they're jealous here, of her. They're, they're, they're jealous to see a father <laughs> fighting of, for his of, daughter. daughter. Check this out. <laughs> fighting for his daughter, fighting to say hello, fighting to say hi. They're jealous. Because I was fighting, you, you know, to say, daughter, hey, they you know, are jealous, because jealous, they, they don't have that. Check this out. They were jealous to see me singing to my baby when she was a newborn baby. I was singing to her. She I had saw the that. I saw, I saw that. Just I saw like that. me. Yeah, just like me. And they were just, oh, they were they hating, like man. It. They were hating it. They was jealous of that baby from the time she was born with the love that you were showing her. So you were showing her too much love, love that they never had, love that they don't understand, love that they never will get. And narcissists do not like love. So this is why your they daughter, are lacking love. Daughter, if you're listening to this, please step up to the plate and stop this madness. All of these videos out here, I mean, don't let nobody brainwash you to their back. Because as I said, he is your blood and not them. And you have to let them know that. You have to stand up as a young lady now and let them know, Mom, my dad is my blood. He's not your blood, but He's my blood, just like you are my blood. But check this out. You know, until when she turned 18, then she can make better decisions. But right now she feels like... But she can still tell that It's she's nothing 17. she could do because her back is up against the wall. I mean, check this out. They, not, they are not allowing her from their home on a cell phone to, to contact and communicate with her father. They are not allowing her from the school text or call or whatever from the school to say well, hello dad they know. won't let her they won't let me know her welfare how she's doing yeah. yeah now you got a crazy adopted grandma who won't even let me know the welfare of but my she, own daughter she y'all can, she, now daughter how cold-blooded can that be and I know my daughter see all this stuff well, that's your going daughter on is now 17 years old won't let she, won't she let can, her she can speak her out, won't let her father know the welfare of my own daughter. Now, well, are you that low life, Patricia Roberts, and that cold blooded? Well, you don't even want a father to know the welfare of his daughter, yes, and you collecting is. and scamming child support. Well, this is a broken record. You already know she is. So now it's time for your daughter to step up to the plate. At the age of seventeen, she's old enough now to speak up to herself, to talk for herself. They kick you out. You have your father. So therefore, it's nothing they can do now but just either come clean or pay. And they are going to pay in the end because all all you have to do is just take them to court, show them all of the documentation you have. And I've seen it. I've been right there. Well, so can't nobody say it's a lie, okay? If anybody says it's a lie, you need to contact me because I've been there from day one. And this is a good father. He shouldn't have to fight for his daughter. Take this out. Take this out. It's all, it's, it's all, man, it's all, awful. it is all over the internet. Everybody yeah. see Everybody's this story all around the world. Yeah. But Curtis, I've a lot of women out. are doing that. A I mean, lot of women, a lot of women are doing this, mess. and a lot of a lot of women do not support my channel because, because I am the, the one thing. who stood out to stand up and talk about this stuff and spread the truth about what's going on out here. See, I'm out here telling my story, right. and it is a whole lot of women out here, y'all, who is doing the same exact thing to fathers right. all around the it's world. Bad. It's a bad situation. I wouldn't want to be in it. And if I was your daughter, I wouldn't want to be in that. Definitely wouldn't want to be in it because they put her out there. Not you. They did. And so the only way that stuff can stop is now, like I said, for your daughter, 17 years old, to break out of it, snap out of it, grow up. Because oftentimes they keep these kids like little mices, like, yeah, no, yes, and have See, them all See, Patricia Robinson wanted to keep and, her 
into like a, baby. a child's set a mindset mom. Right, right. That's to what depend happens. on her. That's what happens. Only, yeah. That's then by happens. the time she turned 18, she she's still in that child set mindset. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I need, I need, I need you okay, oh, and I need, I need you to show me what I could do, and just and got you talking and acting like a little baby, yo. Yes, when you are you a young adult or eighteen we'll years old, yo, and still got you in that frame of mind, baby. It's and, time and to, you grow have up, to go up, baby. Too. Wah 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 wah. Grow you up, have to snap out of it, baby. Grow up, elevate your mind, get educated. If they slow, let them be slow. Be all you can be right. and learn what it takes to, to elevate you to the next step, the next challenge in your life to get ready to be an adult. Don't let these people keep you down and in under a, like child a child set mind. Yeah, just to manipulate and mess over you and have control over your mind and mess you up, and baby. And love bombing. And love bumming, giving you all kind of gifts all the time. Now, now, Christmas come around, oh, Mother's Day come around. Forget that. Oh, oh, they all little. Oh, happy Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Her birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, happy! Oh, don't forget about my Mother's Day. Oh, don't forget about your, look at your my toy. mother. Look at your next, look at next, your next, look next. At I'm your, I'm your grandmother. Don't forget about your, your grandmother. Oh, 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 they the baby mother of the happy, happy Mother's Day. Real happy Mother's Day, Aaron. The real stuff is over here. <laughs> but but they totally forget about the real father who but, helped make his daughter. But they won't even, like, support me no kind of way. And my daughter for, for being a father. No, they don't. For me for that. being a father yeah. to my own daughter. But look here, a real person in that bunch, say, for instance, they have that baby down, like your daughter down, like a little baby. A real person to walk in and say, hey, have you talked to your father? But there's no one in that group. Somehow, all of the years I've been watching this story and know it's true, not one other person in that bunch has stood up to the plate to let that child know that is wrong what they've done to you. They strip you of a father all of your life, which is a no-no is child abuse, child alienation. It hindered the child's growth on your side because he had a whole nother side over here. His his mother, her grandmother, her blood grandmother, not the adopted lady who has her brainwashed thinking that everybody on her side is hers. That's fake. That's phony. That's air. That is zero. <laughs> that is zero. Snap up, daughter. Snap up and snap out. Well, it's time sooner, for, to stop that. Sooner or later, you know. She's the only one that can stop it. It's going to have to grow up, yo, and she's going to have to look at the big picture. Yes. Now, enough is enough. Right. I mean, I have gone through all of this stuff throughout all these years. So it, it's and time for me to, to grow up now. I'm 18 years old, let's say. Now I can say, okay, I'm gonna, I am going to contact my father, and I'm not going to let these witches no longer take that away from me. Right. You know what I mean? But when a witch like Patricia Robin, they, they continue on to do this stuff throughout all the years. And then right. once a person grows up, they feel they still feel like they have that control. Don't let them manipulate you and trick you to thinking that you have no control over your life. Once right. you turn 18, you right. are in full control over full your force. own life. No weapon form against you shall prosper, prosper, baby. But so one, you can step outside the box and say, okay, you done did your thing over here now. I'm right. 18 years old. Right. I can do what the hell I want to do out here. Crazy ass grandma. My dad just put you back to your big ragged ass job. Look here. And another thing she have to let her know, he's going to be he's gonna be my only father all of my life that God created. <laughs> there will be no other blood father. Biological. Genetic. He will be my only father till the day I die. And he died. And how could you take and that check, away from check me? Check this out. Alexa, he made me. Alexa has a great father, y'all. Yes. But it just, and I know it, that to be it's, true. It's, it's, it's just so sad, y'all, to it's see terrible. that I had to come all over the internet, y'all, throughout be. all these years and expose this crazy old grandma and this throwed off baby mother, y'all. Just you standing keep grandmother. Up. That's not a real that old crazy adopted, adopted. grandma, y'all. Yeah, she's no blood. And, 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 and I've been out here all these years, you know, standing up. My my daughter is gonna have to see that that your father is a good man. 
Now, yes. no, whatever tactic he had to use to expose, you had to do what you had I to had do. to do what I had to do to so let her know the truth. My daughter won't take that out on me. It is what it is. Because, it's true. Because it's true. These people did this to me and her. So you and they did not care well. about her well being. Yeah, really, they w they didn't care about her well being because mm. if they did, they would have let her have her father who created her on this earth through God. So that's number one. If they cared and God created her through you, there's no way this would have ever happened in life. Never. So therefore now, um, the thing of it is, and the reason I notice you don't bash her mother much is because of the fact you know that that adopted woman had brainwashed her mother. So I know you feel that her mother should do this and should do that, but I notice you don't bash her a lot because you still have the respect well, for her. Well, she took her mind. Yeah, and, and that's why I noticed that you kind of, you may say a few things because you heard about the fact that her mother hasn't allowed her daughter to talk to her father. Which in the beginning, I remember when I first met you and you had came to Houston. I remember those emails, seeing those emails, <laughs> world, I saw them. Hi, Alexa, say hi to her dad. She was emailing him all these cute little messages and playing like, I love you and all this kind of stuff. And all of a sudden it went cold. And I was like, have you heard anything else from the baby mother? Is she going to let you speak to your baby? So I want your daughter to know in the beginning, your mother was trying to connect you with your father. So somehow that breakage was when that adopted mother that's no blood kin stopped her from letting her have her father. So when that baby grew up, she would have had her father and been proud. Her father coming to school, she visiting her father. She had two worlds. She could have been traveling all over the world with her dad. She could have had a world over here. She could have seen her brother. She has a big brother, her grandmother, all these people that I have met, nice people that hey, they kept away now. from her. Years ago, when uh, Patricia Robinson came to Houston, Texas, y'all, with that baby mother, my daughter was about, what, about five to seven years old. That Patricia Robinson brought my daughter, to Houston. my five, seven-year-old, to you Houston. Didn't see her? They went to Kima, y'all, down oh, yeah, I remember in that. Kima, Kima, enjoying all the benefits out there, y'all. And didn't even call Right me here in Houston. And did not even call me, y'all. Had my email. How did you had find my phone out? Number, How did you find out? What happened was, Patricia Robinson is so silly, y'all. She called herself blocking me on Facebook, y'all. Mm -hmm. Somehow, to keep you can't keep me. Child. You cannot keep Curdy Cool out of Facebook no kind of way. So I was able to get in there, y'all. And I saw all this leaked stuff, y'all. Then she started posting stuff to her family, just for her family. To see what's going on, and I was never thought of. Y'all, y'all, check this out. No y'all, y'all, you guys are not going to believe this. You know what Low Life Patricia Robinson did, y'all? I never what really talked about this. What did she do? Low Life Patricia Robinson went in and created a fake page from my page, y'all. Wow. Went on and took a whole lot of my pictures from Facebook. And created a whole nother new Facebook oh, she page took this stuff to with a, all a my pictures. Yeah, yeah, check this out. With all my pictures and pretend that that was me and she was behind the scene like she was me. See, see, your father love you. See, your father love you. And then had it had my baby daughter thinking that I was communicating with her. Are you serious? Which was Patricia Robinson behind the scene who imposted me and created a Fake oh wow! Facebook page, y'all. So yeah, yeah, y'all check this. Uh -uh. Trisha Robinson did this, y'all. So how I found out about this? For. Check this out. How I found out about this, y'all. Friends of mine. Hey, you got another Facebook page? Somebody? Uh, yeah. yeah, like people I tell mean, people. Yeah, what, what, say, what's yeah. going on? You know, you got another Facebook wow. page. You know. Wow. And I said, no, I don't have another Facebook page. They they are using exactly all your pictures. And pretending to be you, your name, everything, how stupid they were. They use everything. And so I said, let me check this out. So I checked it out on mm. Facebook. Boom. All the stuff was out there. <coughs> they were pretending to be me. Y'all check this out. So now, so now I I, I, I just uh, shoot them a message like on a little timeline. Mm. Hey, now this is the real such and such. This right is here. This is cool. the real Curdy Coat. And they like jump back like, 
They couldn't believe that. So, so, so the narcissists, they got very upset because now they've been exposed that I caught on that, that they were being an, an, an imposter, y'all. Oh, wow. Pretending to be me. So I, I bust them, caught them in the act. And so I immediately contacted Facebook, told them we have an imposter out here, y'all, using me, pretending to be me. Communicating with my daughter, acting like that I am communicating with my daughter when I never Terrible. have, when it is the scandalous ass Patricia Robinson. Terrible. That is so crazy, y'all. You that got a woman, lot to pay for. That woman will go to the limit, the Ooh. max, y'all. They to, got a lot to, to pay for. Now, what's that cost And for? I don't want your daughter to have to pay with them. So she's the one going to have to pay. I'm going to ask Patricia Robinson. I'm going to ask Patricia Robinson. I'm going to ask Patricia Robinson. What's that cost for, for you to do that, Patricia Robinson? To be an imposter on Facebook, steal all my pictures off my page, and pretend that you are mean to my daughter, and messing with her mind, manipulating her? Mm -hmm. That is a low-life-ass grandma, adopted grandma, y'all. That's about all I can say. That, that is low-life, y'all. That Anybody, old woman don't care about nobody. Well, nobody. She's, well, she's not her blood. Why would she care? Only way somebody can feel your pain is they have to be your blood. And that lady have no bloodline, no bloodline in your body, in your mind. She don't have your brain cells. She don't have your blood. She don't have your nose. She don't have your hands. I saw your daughter had your hands on a, one of those videos you had found. She don't have your nose. She don't have your skin tone. She don't have your hands. She don't have your blood. She don't have your brain. She didn't make your brains. She's zero. Nothing. No blood. And so, therefore, this is why she does not care about your child nor her mother. You can only really love when it's your blood or you are a child of God. And I can see that she's not. Because being around this, she got a lot to pay for. To all the good people out here who is tuning in to Curtis Cool's Something True else. Story, y'all be sure to subscribe, like, Yes, and hit please. the bell. Subscribe. Hit the I understand. Bell. I understand that there's a lot of people not gonna do neither simple fact because they're doing these things. <laughs> but Curry Cool is out here telling his true story. Right. It is some crazy grandmothers out here and baby mothers out here. Patricia Robinson going through the extreme imposing as an imposter to beat me on Facebook just to try wow. to trick my daughter mm. to thinking that she when was she communicating was with her father when she never was. Wow. But didn't that's you tell low me that life, somebody baby. did that something low similar life. and they end up house got burned down. There was someone did something similar you heard about. The house got burned down. The mother fell and got paralyzed. The mama and the daddy uh, uh, burnt up in the house, right? For but, doing but, but I'm back on this. The same thing. When Facebook caught up with that imposter Patricia Robinson did on me, Facebook slam dumped her ass, pretend, pretending to be, be me. Slam dumped that wicked witch. Mm. <laughs> Good job, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got a lot to pay for. Like I say, those people. Take it out, take it out. <laughs> Facebook put Patricia Robinson back into her big mama raggedy ass draw. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook put in her big mama raggedy ass she draw. <laughs> she stole a whole life from a child and her father. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get any worse than that. And like I said, someone else that I'd heard about, uh, the house got burned down by, they don't even know, accident or whatever. The mother fell and got paralyzed. Everybody was crazy. So in the end, they may need you. In the end, yeah, it, it always. you're still going to be Alexa's father. I don't care. I don't give a damn if you 200 and, and she 100. Because that's the way God did it. So these people... Well, it's going to be your daughter's time to step up and stop it. Well, you know, whichever way it goes, you know, I, I really understand the, the whole scenario of everything, y'all. I'm not well, out here. That's just the point of you I'm not, to I'm go not, through this. I am not out here forcing anybody out here. I a know. lot of times, a lot of times when you step up and you tell your true story the way it is, and a lot of times, a lot of kids, they still do not want to accept you and want to acknowledge you. They, they are still... They have been brainwashed well, so afraid. long. They're they have afraid. been brainwashed so long with, with, with these other parents over here with the narcissist they're parents. They're afraid and don't know what And they to just do. don't want to acknowledge it. So they continue on to go along with the narcissist parent over here. I, I but it doesn't matter because I told my true story what these wicked witches did to me. And her. And Alexis got a good father. 
They did it and to she, her too. And she understand and knows that. Yeah. But she's going along with what they're doing well, because they got afraid. her back up against the wall. It's not that it, what it is. She's confused. She's afraid. She don't know what to do. But she's confused. Why did y'all have to go to that to make her extreme confused. to do this to me and my father? That was an extreme. You know, like my, I mean, to do worst. that on Facebook, Patricia Ralph pretended that she was me on Facebook and that stole was, all my pictures. That was that the worst. She went to the extreme. That was well. That was the worst. So first of all, you have to fight for your daughter from day one from the birth certificate. Didn't you have to make them put it in your name where they lied and tried to put it in her dead husband who was no blood kin to your daughter's name? Ooh, they really sent her. They did all that to your child, and that's sad, man. That is, that's horrible to you and your child. It's not just you, Curtis. And you're not out here begging for your daughter to call you, but that's something that's God made, that she should automatically know that if God created her through you, that would be the right thing to do. It's not that you begging, but the fact of it is how they all did it from the very beginning. You had to fight for your daughter from her birth certificate name to paying money, losing your job, going back and forth. I mean, you would have been a big time movie star if it wouldn't have been for those people. I mean, you was acting all over the place and you just, I saw a man that I never saw do this before, which is what he did. You, you lost everything. Well, fighting during the time daughter, when I was, your when daughter. I, during the time when I was out there in California, yeah, but I but I still bounced back through it all. You did. You I mean, did. nothing can hold Curtis cool down when the good Lord has got His hands on you. Yes. And these crazy people out here, y'all, thinking that they are holding you back. Mm -hmm. Good Lord, just take you totally out of these crazy people' lives. Yeah, that's to what make it was you better, called. smarter, wiser, and, and give you exactly what you deserve. See, and I, more. I did not even deserve to be around them crazy people. No, you was too good mm -mm, for those I was people. too good. You know, I was too good for that. messed up with Being the around a, a crazy ass Patricia Robinson yeah. and being around, excuse my expression, a throwed off baby mother and all these I other crazy people, y'all, who was out here a part of this, this pack, y'all, attacking Curtis Cool for being yes, a father, y'all. A bunch of crazos. That is crazy, y'all. But look, I wonder if... Your daughter's mother was crazy before she met that woman. That woman could have gave her some kind of medicine and made that girl crazy for money. Since I see she's doing you like that for money, then I'm asking that question because of the fact that I see what she's doing to you. I see how she tried to put your daughter in her husband's name for money. I wonder if she made that girl. A lot of people she put made these her people crazy. on disability and make them crazy. But check this when out. they were born, they wasn't crazy. But check this out. They get crazy taking the crazy medicine. I had got this that baby mother, a talent agency. She was acting like she was a normal person, y'all. Right. I mean, she was doing all the normal things out yeah, here, y'all. I asked you about that, too. Yeah. But yet and still, if she was crazy, why was they hiding this stuff from and me? And why did the talent people uh, didn't pick up on it? Yeah, I mean, if, I mean, if, if it they was something wrong with her, her up. the uh, talent agent, wouldn't have signed Cindy Ramada, wouldn't, wouldn't have picked her up during that time. No. When I took her in, that that woman was she very was intelligent. She was very normal. Oh, oh hi, you know, I'm, I'm so and so, and uh, I'm, I'm seeking representation, and I think I would make a great actress. I well, uh, she was acting. I'm under, then. I'm under Curtis Cool coaching, and I feel like you know I have what it takes for as auditioning and how to slate and how to do a proper audition. Oh wow! And I feel like I'm just a natural, just just to. Whatever they call me, and fun, you didn't you know, know she. I can, I can, I can get into the character in the moment. And oh I can, my god! I can do it. I she would was a make great a, actress, and she was like talking like this way to the talent agency. You know? Yeah, and I asked, and you I just about sit that. back, said, "Okay, okay, okay." Yeah. And so the talent agency looked at her. You know, she had herself looking real. You know, right, professional. Professional. Oh my god! They said, "Yeah, with so your look, she's were... young. She's young with your look and everything." Well, so we're going we to take her home. So that means they were playing a game on you. Yeah. Just like she acted to the agency, they were acting with you. Now, like if the agency would have saw something different, they were like, no, we're not even right. dealing with this. And they was going to sign your daughter up, right? Yeah. Your they, daughter could have been a big time. See, they held her back from, from that. He had an agency that was going to put his daughter out there. She could have been a movie star by now. They hid her back from that. They hid her back from a whole side over here. Her brother, her grandmother, her... Her black heritage, because that's what she is, and so that lady—they wanted to put her into the baby pamples 
Wow. Patricia Robinson messed up everything, which she normally always does. She messed up everything. Like she did her mother, mine. So your daughter need to know all this. This is is real. If you're listening, uh, Curtis' daughter, this is real. I mean, I was there from the very beginning. It's not like he's just out here alone. Everybody on this side, his family, everybody knows what happened from the very beginning. So whatever they're telling you on that side... That woman is no blood kin to you. This is your father. This is your blood. They're not. They're not his blood. Your mother's your blood. And he's your blood. But that woman, she can't tell you nothing about your own father. Who in the hell is she to tell you about your own blood father? And then keep you away from get your her straight. own father. Keep and you to away, keep you away from, your own father, from the best yeah. thing that God ever gave you on this and earth. And then Patricia Robinson. For her well. Check this out. Patricia Robinson dogged out her own husband. Didn't even oh, yeah, I remember, her. I remember I that. I was there I remember to verify that. I remember that. that. I verified all of that. Before your and child was born. she would not born. even help her husband make a decision yeah, I remember you to get me that. the gangrene leg cut off. And Patricia didn't you Robinson tell like, him? He come here with a damn leg, he would leave it with a damn but leg. But didn't you so tell she him didn't he re- do She it? didn't really show it. Right. Didn't you tell him, I remember you saying, you told him, man, you need to go ahead and let them cut your leg off, yeah. man. So but, you but, 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 but he was saying, well, my wife, he she needs to. She, need she had his mind to. She need to say the last say because this is my wife. Oh, and she had him, my wife. And, 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 and he going by that mess. She and then wanted I, that I'm check. looking at Patricia Roberts. She wanted you know, to check. Why, why, why you not tell this man going on and get this removed There's so that he can. people walking around with one check leg. Check out. So that he can get a peg leg and he can still continue on living. He came here with his damn leg. He going to leave it with his damn leg. That's evil. Oh, Lord, I don't want to I was like, I was like, wow. That is the worst thing I ever And so when heard I heard about it, like, in my when, when, I heard, life. when I heard about it, like, 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 what? But four or five months later, man was slipping. They talked about him. They would talk about how he was so funky with his leg, all that stuff. They all. talked about him after she kept the leg on. They talked about him like Saying a dog. Saying how he was stinking, y'all. her own husband, and he's dying. Gang green, all that. Oh, he funk up the damn house. Funk up the house. Oh, we just don't want him in the house. And, oh, they, 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 they dog. And what would it. make you think she wouldn't do that to you if she did that to so her So she did that husband. to her husband. She did that to my daughter. She did that to the baby's mother. She did that she to She just everybody. messed up And all those other kids that was y'all. in the house. And Patricia Robinson I know she did it to no the other kids because good. nobody stepped up to the plate. I'm waiting just like everybody else out here. But she's got the I'm mind. waiting for them to step up to the plate and let your daughter bond <clears> with <throat> her dad, her brother, her blood. Hey, yeah, I must, I must I'm say, waiting. Hey, I must say, I must for say, years. I must say, I like your glasses. What, what? Versace. Can I, can I take a look? <laughs> oh, yeah. These are Versace. Versace. Wow. I'm just, I'm just checking these Thank glasses you. out here. <laughs> Thank wow. You. Those are Versace glasses. Versace's. How did you get that tint color like that? Oh, I special ordered them because wow. I Wow. Like, Is that the real deal, Versace? Of course. I don't wear anything fake. Wow. I'm not a fake. I'm not a joke. What I say is real, and I am a noted person. Masachi, that's beautiful. I am a very noted individual. I'm not a flake. I've been in magazines, TV shows. I'm an actress. I've done it all. So when I speak, believe it. There you have it. If Hearst Publication believed it, then, world, you should listen to me. There you have it. I've been watching this story a long time, and Curtis' daughter needs to call her dad. There you have it. Hey, y'all, we are getting ready to wrap up this show. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in to, to Curtis Cool and Josie talking about this true life saga story with all these twists and turns with a crazy old Very grandma, y'all, and messing up everybody. Yeah, it just goes on and on and on and on. I want to say I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And uh, y'all be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I'll be happy to bell. bring Josie on again. Hit the and bell. we'll talk about this a little bit more, y'all. Yes. But we're going to end the show. Anything before you go, before I close the door? Yes, I hope I don't have to do another show and that you can tell me that your daughter have called after all these years that I've been waiting. And I'll end with that. Thank you, guys, and thank for you tuning for in. Me. Y'all be good now. In the neighborhood. Cut it, cut it.
Cut it, cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. No, no, you gotta do it like this here. Cut it, 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 cut it. Cool. Cool. Call your daddy. Okay, bye. Your blood dad.